Hi, my name's Lee, I'm from MGI. Today I'm going to show you just a couple of hints on how to maintain your buggy. There's only a few tools needed to maintain your golf buggy. You'd need a couple of Phillips head screwdrivers, big and small. Uh, you may also need a 13mm socket and some lubrication. This is petroleum jelly and we just use either a toothbrush or just a paintbrush that we use to apply to the axle. Firstly I'm going to show you how to tighten the folding mechanism. Sometimes this may become slightly loose so it's always best to ensure that the folding mechanism is nice and firm. You can tell how firm it is by releasing and locking the mechanism into position. If it's quite loose, it's not a difficult operation to tighten up the nut. You'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver to gain access to the cap opposite the lever. You can undo two screws. and remove the cap. You'll notice that the stem cable is looped around the nut. When you reassemble, make sure that's looped again into position. Move it out of the way and get a 13 mil socket. This one is set to three newton meters. Tighten until firm and test using the latch. If you feel that the latch is nice and firm, then your handle is in, in good condition. Put the cable back around the nut and fasten the cap back into position. Screw in the two screws until tight. If you don't have a torqued socket wrench, you can use, basically by rule of thumb, just making sure that this lever is nice and firm. It'll give you an accurate reading of how well you've done it. If it's quite loose, just give it a little nip up and you should be fine. The next thing I'll show you how to do is lubricate the shafts of the rear axles and the front wheels. So here I'm using petroleum jelly on a brush, which I'll just lightly apply to the rear axle. You don't need too much, just a little bit throughout the axle there. You can also do this on the front wheel. Just a slight bit of lubrication on the front wheel before inserting it. We'll ensure that there'll be no creaks or squeaks and it'll make it easier to remove and reconnect back into the buggy. Once you've lubricated your axles, you can also focus on tightening the bolts around your buggy. Now, you may find a few bolts underneath and also the sidearm bolts are quite important. So using a Phillips head screwdriver, you can just nip up either side of these arm bolts until they're nice and firm. This will help stop the play in the handle and do that on either side until nice and firm. You can run along the buggy and find any other points that might need tightening. For example, the uh, bag support up the top, you might just need to give that a nip up. I'd probably look over this say once every six months or once every year to make sure that it's in really good condition. But look, it's not hard to check over it after every game. Uh, it's usually recommended to give it a quick wipe down with a wet rag once you're finished with your game to remove all types of debris. Uh, so that's about it, basically. Um, if you'd like any more information on how to do repairs, you can visit the website, which is www.mgigolf.com. Thanks for watching.